this year's tournament, it was a bit, bit uh, difficult when you compare to the two previous tournaments. Reason behind the fact that we found ourselves in Group A, you know, uh, with, with three debutants, uh, teams that were, were new into the tournament. And it wasn't that easy to plan for them. And it was a bit difficult to find even clips on those teams. But I'm glad that we, we worked so hard as a team. You know, and we, 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 we went out of that group and scratched where we went all the way and won three games in a row. And semis, it was, it was one of those biggest games. Uh, I think people, they tend to dub it an African derby. I don't know, maybe it is. And we've managed as well to to win it as well. And we brought the trophy back home in the final when we beat uh, SC Casablanca, you know. But I always said it was a good omen for us. When you look, when we won in 2021, the tournament started the 5th of November until the 19th. This year again, it was the 5th until the 19th. Surely it was written on the stars with it's coming back home. This tournament was a bit tougher for us, but we had to remind ourselves uh, on what happened last year. Remember, last year this time, I was one of the players who was crying so bad. So I had to remind myself that uh, with that red card that I got that I need to come back strong, you know, for the team, for the badge as well, and also for the supporters. So. I think uh, we did well as a team. Uh, we went there to fight, like uh, you saw all our games. Um, what I liked before we leave South, South Africa, we set a goal as a team to say that we need to win the tournament, nothing much. So I think uh, we worked very hard as a team and we deserved uh, to win. It was a beautiful one as much as it was difficult. Uh, the people from Ivory Coast were really uh, behind us after <laughs> we've beaten the hosts. Um, but they were super, super welcoming. And I think what made it special about this edition was uh, the fact that um, it's another audio. We, we have this uh, conversation that we carry in the team that audience it's like it's written in the stars it's mommy lady sundowns you know if you look previously we've we've been doing absolutely great in the league as well where we win in audience so but we need to break that so that we can be consistent and just uh, win it also um you know in even years so i'm extremely grateful uh, but you know for for more information on how this journey actually started because it's not um, a 2023 journey. Uh, it has started a long time ago, and it started in 2021 where we won AFCON. And for you guys to see the information or to see the steps, I think tomorrow uh, it's the viewing of the Banyanova style on Netflix. Uh, so I, I think that's where you actually need to go and check, and check us, check our history, check um, each, and each and every individual. Everyone is so special in this team. and. They bring out the best in each other, and I believe that we brought out the best in each other. We had a lot of players who were not there, and we were playing for them as well. You know, um, it's it's so unfair to get an injury, but we needed to go there and just play for them. Um, the the defense did a great job as well, keeping a clean sheet. Actually, when I say the defense, I'm not only saying myself, Zanele, and whoever that was playing at the back, but. Uh, also, the team that starts at, uh, in front, which is the strikers, because it starts there. So, but normally people actually over they overlook defenders. Um, I feel like each and every defender that was uh, called upon did a great job um, in keeping those clean sheets. I'm not the only one that keeps clean sheets. It's it's everyone in the team, and when you keep clean sheets, you win trophies. The only key uh, key things in the team. It's only two things, you know. Uh, it's the hard work that's been put behind the, the scenes at training session with the girls. And one other thing, it's unity amongst the team, you know. The team is very united, and when we're united, no one can break that. These tournaments prepare us um, physically, mentally, and also it's an exposure for other, you know, youngsters in the team to actually raise their hands so that they're selected for the national team, which I believe that we have incredible youngsters. Um, I think it's also a preparation mentally for for individuals uh, that are playing for Banyana Banyana. You get to see, um, you know, we played against teams that came up with a lot of uh, tactics, a lot of, uh, you know, playing styles. Um, even our coach mentioned that Yo, this, this tournament is a difficult one because um, this one will play a low block, this one will do this. And I think that prepares you mentally 
the challenges that you face in Africa, you know, behind the scenes prepare you mentally for, for the national team. And I believe that each and every player that's in the team has gained experience. About the red card, uh, I think it, it made me to, to go and work very hard. Um, remember, I think I, it was unfair for me to get that red card. I feel like it was a soft one. But I, w I went back to the drawing board and I checked what happened. And then I think uh, for me, uh, it said to me, just go and work hard, you know. So I went to, to work hard. Hence, um, you see, we, we got the, the, the trophy this year, you know. So I think for me, it was a motivational, like it was a motivation in s itself. I'm one fortunate coach, you know, uh, in terms of the technical, st technical stuff that I've got. I'm not doing the job alone, you know, there's this medical team who always advise in terms of uh, the load and all that, you know. Um, lucky enough, I'm, I'm one open person who gets to accommodate anyone, you know, who's, who's coming with an expert that to, to help the team to, to grow, you know. And when you look in, in terms of the job that's been done by the medical team, it's a, it's a wonderful job, it's a wonderful job. Credit must go to them. As well, you know, as a, as a coach, you, you, you'll do your level best to see to it that you rotate the squad as much as you can. You look at our first two games, yes, we didn't make too many changes from the tournament, but the third game you saw, we've made about seven changes just to try to, to rotate the squad. Coming to Hollywood, but, um, we'll also try to, to rotate the squad, but, but we're going to be very, very cautious in terms of how we rotate it because we also want to win... Uh, Hollywood Super Bet League, you know, and we've got games coming thick and fast. We're playing again on Thursday. We're playing again on Sunday. So I believe the support that I'm getting from the medical team, it will also help the team to, to prevail in terms of winning the Hollywood Super Bet. It's not fine to lose cups, whether domestically or internationally at Sundowns. It's not fine. We, we must always win. Uh, we, we don't have we don't have room for, for losing cups, you know, but uh, just to answer your question, when when I go back to the previous the previous president of Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, I, I once said when he bought this club, he said he wanted to see the vision of Mamelodi Sundowns dominating Africa. So I believe everyone who's at Lord Cop, he shared the same, he still shares the same vision with the pre with the previous president in terms of trying to dominate uh, Africa. So that thing it really pushes us as an employees of Mamelodi Sundowns to to keep on trying and harder and work as hard as we can so that we can we can achieve the goal of the previous president and the current chairman to say we want to dominate Africa. That's what really is pushing us. When we represent the national team, um, we represent the national team. And when you come back and represent Mamelodi Sundowns, you represent Mamelodi Sundowns and there's a specific culture. At Mamelodi Sundowns, we have your winning mentality and taking into consideration the fact that uh, you have players that play for the national team with experience. We share experience amongst each other, but not only are they the only players with experience, they are players that have played abroad that come with uh, a lot of experience. We are a team that's actually, um, you know, united. Uh, I love the fact that we, we all respect each other. It doesn't matter if one plays for the national team and if another doesn't play for the, for the national team. When we are at, well, Mamelodi Sundowns, we are on all at the same level um, because we, we all have experiences. Like we do Melo plays for Lesotho. She's a captain. She has to carry the team, you know, from for, for Lesotho. You have uh, my Dumelo uh, Buseja, who is who's also a captain of Botswana, who has also uh, had so many experiences and she shares with the team, which is incredible in my department. It's a very fantastic department because we work together. And then you have Utola Gele, who also plays for the national team. So it's, it's combined. It's different cultures that combine to making one culture, which is an incredible one, Gabriello culture, the winning mentality, the mentality that doesn't want to walk out of the field uh, with disappointing the fans more than anything. The Mamelodi Sundowns is my family. That's my safe space. Um, obviously, I like winning, and that's what I want to see all the time. Uh, my mom plays with me on the field. 
Uh, the reason why she will become so emotional about this victory is because she's always with me on the field. Remember when a goal is scored, they always check the last person, which is a goalkeeper. I think it works with him, uh, you know, uh, mentally more than anything. But I'm a strong individual. I am a team player more than anything. And I believe that everything happens for a reason. God places you in, 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 in places where he wants uh, to pull you closer so that he, you understand who he is. And when he pulls you out of it, you become victorious either way. So I believe that he, is, he has done an incredible job and I'm, I'm thankful for the technical team, support staff, my teammates for always being there for me. Uh, mental health is very important. And I believe that um, at, at the club, they do that quite well, where they take care of our well-being and I'm, I'm well taken care of. I'm always happy everywhere I am. Uh, you know, uh, they, if you don't believe me, go check out every video of where I've been, whether it's Banyana Banyana or uh, whether it's uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. And it's very important for people not to abuse women. When I say abuse women, cyberbullying, it's, it's totally unfair. And I don't, I don't believe in cyberbullying. I believe in uh, uh, you know uniting as a nation to make sure that we support women so that they perform to the best of their abilities. For us to close that gap between men and women, we need to take care of our women in the country. Let's be nice. It's still much alive. It's still much alive. When when I was watching two of their games, uh, when they were live on TV, I felt like we still got it. We we got a chance. We got a chance to go out there and win Hollywood Super Bad League. You know and We've done it before. Uh, we, we, we've won a treble in 2021, and we stand another good chance to win a treble again this year in in, 20, in 2023. But you know, games in hands are not points. We just got to grind for those results. And uh, fortunate enough, I've already told I've already told the girls after after the game that the Champions League it's done and dusted. Now the focus it's on it's on Hollywood Super Bad League. Uh, the, the cup that we've brought home, it's more, it's more or less similar like any other cups. So the focus now it has to shift to to Hollywood Super Bad League. As I speak to you now, we're training again. To, we're training tomorrow, and we're playing on Thursday. So it shows, it shows that we definitely want to win everything. When I first started Mamelodi Sundowns, you know, jokingly, Mkulisi um, the late Mkulisi may his soul rest in peace. He said, Coach, here you are, you are, you are hired at Mamelodi Sundowns. What are you gonna do? And I answered Mkulisi and I said, Mkulisi, I wanna make Mamelodi Sundowns one of the best team in Africa. Here, here we are today, we are one of the best teams in Africa. But like I said, you know, um, we, we wanna we wanna go out there and be the best team in the world. As I speak to you now, we are ranked number 25 in the entire world. So we can't wait for, for FIFA just to announce and say, here is a club World Cup, so we can give ourselves a shot and see uh, how far are we in terms of competing with the other uh, continents, in terms of your Europe, your Asia and all that. But back then it was a dream of, of making Mamelodi Sundowns a, a superpower in Africa. But now the dream has just grown bigger to make Mamelodi Sundowns the best team in the world.